All right, welcome to today's class. We're going to do a little deep dive here on blogging. Really, we're focused on the search engine optimization of these blogs because if you're going to go to all the trouble to write one of these blogs, enter it into the system, you know, publish it correctly so that um, it's actually working for you. This is like deploying a free sales force that works for you 24 seven. But if it's not optimized, you're going to have some issues here, right? You're going to have lackluster results, which is going to, you know, discourage you from doing more of this content. And a blog is essentially a page on a website. And the more pages we have on our company website, that provide valuable information for the consumer, the more Google's going to, you know, say, Hey, this Jason real estate.com is a very valuable web website to our consumers that are using our search engine. So we need to promote it. We need to, you know, get it up, rank it higher so that people can find it. So I'm going to go through some of those things uh, today, but um, this is Zoe McCreer's blog uh, on Gardendale and life in Gardendale. Uh, I found this in the back end. Uh, and it was missing several things and it wasn't showing up or it was showing up on the company website. But if you clicked on it because she did not have a title in uh, this section right here, you can see that there. Uh, if you clicked on the blog, you got an error message. Uh, so, you know, that we just we just don't want to do that. Our time is our most valuable resource. And when we use it for blogging, we need to make sure this this sucker works. OK. So she had a title in here, which I've replaced. And the way I did that was using Google suggest. So I went in here to Google and started typing in, you know, some different search phrases or what I thought might be um, some search phrases and came across this one, where is Gardendale, Alabama? And I just thought that was unique. Uh, and I wanted to use that. And so um, if I come back just over here, you can see, um, that's where I was, but let me go over here. Neglected to do this so y'all can see this now. So this is Google suggest you just type in a search phrase. This drop down menu actually shows legit search phrases that people are using and you can just type in a number of those things. It's also, you know, um, a way to see what your competition's doing. So is, are there any other um, realtors in the area, you know, putting out some good content or what is ranking on the first page and, you know, some good research for you to do. And you could see if there was a real estate agent that had a blog on the first page, you know, you might go, Hey, let me read this blog and see like what kind of information was included to make this such a uh, search engine optimized uh, blog. All right, so let's go back over to the actual blog itself. And we're going to uh, look at a couple other things uh, that I've done uh, here. So you want to make sure that um, your spacing is all good in between your paragraphs. The readability of this is really, really important. Um, you know, too many paragraphs, two paragraphs that are too bulky, you know, too big. Um, you know, just kind of scare people away. So you want some good spacing in between your, your paragraphs here. The other thing that you want to do, we're not going to mess with this block section here. We're going to stay in post, but we want to make sure we select the category. And so if you're writing about a city or a subdivision or a condo complex, a development, and the category is not here, um, that really is appropriate for yours. So I did not have a tab for Gardendale real estate here. So I went and added this one and checked that one. Um, added some tags here. This is like your table of contents. Um, and this is a suggestion I could give Zoe here. There's no, I just skimmed this here and I'm not seeing um, any parks or small businesses advertised here. And you can see this hot link here for Gardendale uh, homes for sale. We would have, um, see she mentions it here. Gardendale's culinary scene. Um, this could be a whole separate blog, but if she just mentioned one specific restaurant, if that re uh, restaurant had a website or a Facebook page, we could highlight it and make it clickable like this one is. So this is a hot link, a hyperlink that will go right back to Zoe's website and show people the homes that are currently all the active homes that are currently listed for sale in Gardendale. 
But the other thing we could do is add more tags in here. I did miss one, so I'm gonna add that in there. So if there was a restaurant or park that was mentioned in here, so this is like a table of contents. What are the 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 big ticket items or aspects of Gardendale life that we're pointing out here? Um, and so we don't really have anything specific in terms of businesses, parks, restaurants, coffee shops. So we're just doing some very generic uh, tagging here. Um, the other thing about our, our title is it needs to go inside the blog. And I have used, um, uh, put this in H2 format. It's just the heading uh, format. Um, see here, you can make it different sizes. I've made it H2 just to make it stand out and make it big and bold. And then I've also used it in the description section. And I'm going to come in here and finish this off by saying, you know, explore uh, homes for sale in Gardendale with Zoe McCreer of the Flowers Realty Group by calling or texting. And I'll add Zoe's number and get that done. I've also put the title down in here. What are the keywords? This is like what do you want to be found for? If somebody types in Google Birmingham Realtor, you want this blog to pop up. They type in Gardendale Real Estate, you want this blog to pop up. So this is really, really important. But just to recap, so we're not kind of missing this because this is really important. The title goes in the blog, okay? Um, and if you want to mention it um, in your final paragraph, I think that would be good. And then we want to put it here and here. Okay. All right. So let me show you, I'm going to go off this page and show you how we search for these homes. Okay. So this is, let me just go back a step. You can see this is Zoe's website. Anybody that lands on this domain that registers is going to be her buyer. So I'm just going to go in here and find the city of Gardendale. I like to select the city so make sure I'm getting like all the homes, not missing anything. Got to come in here and select homes, take out the land listings. So highlight this, you just copy it. You're going to copy and paste it into the blog itself. So let's go back to the blog. All right. And all I'm doing is highlighting this. So let me break this so I can start the process over. All right, so I just highlight it and we're looking for this chain link right here. Click on that. Drop our pasted link from Boomtown. We want to make sure we click this so it, it, if, it, um, if somebody clicks on this hyperlink, it takes them uh, to a new tab of our website. And we got to hit that little arrow to make sure that uh, embeds. We need to hit update, making sure we got a saved blog here. And this one is uh, essentially done, unless I want to add some more keywords here, some more tags. Uh, I just need, I need to add uh, Zoe's cell phone number here. I'm gonna do that in just a second. Um, but this should get you guys uh, rolling. Oh, one other quick thing I did forget, I'm so sorry. Let's go over here and click on this image. Alt text, this is search engine optimization step here that you definitely want to get in here. I put Gardendale real estate for sale. So just put a keyword phrase in there um, and uh, it'll save it automatically for you. And then we're ready to rock and roll. Okay. That's it for this one.